Okay, so good afternoon guys. So today we're going to discuss about the finite automata with output known as the Miller machine and Moore machine. So last time we discussed about the DFA and NFA. So when we say DFA, it is the deterministic finite automata and the NFA known as the non-deterministic finite automata. Okay, now what's the meaning of this Mini machine and more machine, or the known as the finite automata with output. So first, remember to say mini machine, guys. A mini machine is a finite state machine whose output depends on the present state, as well as the present input. While the more machine, more machine is a finite state machine whose output depends on only the present state. Okay, so this is the meaning for the mini machine and the more machine. Okay, we have here the some information for the mini machine or the formal definition for the more machine. Okay, in this mini machine, it has six tuples. We have the Q, we have the sigma, we have the delta, we have the del the lambda and the q naught or the q zero okay and this one the q known as a finite set of state the sigma known as a finite non-empty sets of input alphabets the delta known as the sets of output alphabets the del known as the transition functions the lambda known as the output functions and the q naught or the q zero known as the initial state and the start state Okay, so we have here our first diagram for the mini machine. Okay, in our first diagram, as you can see, we have three states, state A, state B, and state C. And if this state A has an input 1, it goes to itself and produces an output B. And if this state A has an input 0, it goes to state B and produces an output A. And if this state B has an input 1, it goes to state C and produces an output B. And if this state C has an input 1, it goes to itself, state C, and produces an output A. And if this state C has an input 1, it goes to state B and produces an output A. And if this state B has an input 0, it goes to state A and produces an output B. So this is the explanations for the diagram for the mini machine. Let's make some example. We have the input string 101110. Okay? So 1 if we have an input 1, it goes to state A. Then if we have the input 1, goes to state A and produce an output B. Okay? This one. And if this state 0 has an input 0, okay? It has state A has an input 0, so it goes to state B and produce an output A. If this has an input 1, goes to state C and produce an output B. Then input 1 goes to state C and produce an output A. Then an input 0 goes to state B and produce an output A. And the input 0 goes to state A and produce an output B. So meaning to say if we have an input 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, it produces an output B, A, B, A, A, B. This example for the mini machine. How about for the more machine? In the more machine, same. We have six tuple. We have the Q, Sigma, Delta, Del, Lambda, and the Q zero or Q naught. Q is the finite sets of state. Sigma is the finite non-empty sets of input alphabets. Delta we have the sets of output alphabets. The del, we have the transition function. The lambda, known as the output functions. And the q naught, known as the initial state or the start state. 
okay we have here our diagram for the Moore machine as you can see we have three states state A state B and state C and if this state A has an input one it goes to itself and produce an output A and if this state A has an input zero it goes to state B and produce a small b and if this state b has an input zero it goes to state c and produce an output small c and if this state c has an input one goes to itself and produce a small c and if this state c has an input zero it goes to state b and produce a small b and if this state b has an input one it goes to state A and produce an output A. So this is the explanation for the diagram for the Moore machine. Let's make some example. Okay. We have an input 100101. What is the output? If this input 1 has an input 1, okay, it goes to state A and produce an output small a. We have an input 0. It goes to state B and produce an output B. Then we have the input 0, it goes to state C and produce small c. And then we have the input 1, it goes to state C and produce small c. Then we have the input 0, it goes to state B and produce small b. And we have last, we have the input 1, goes to state A and produce small a. So for the input 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, it has an output A, B, C, C, B, A. Okay? Let's make some activity for the mini machine and more machine. Okay, so we have activity number one for the F term or the final term. We have the first diagram, number one. As you can see, we have three states, Q1, Q2, and Q3. If this Q1 has an input zero, produce output one. Same with this one, input one, output zero. Input 0, output 1, input 1, output 0, input 0, output 1, then, <coughs> excuse me, input 1 and produce an output 0. So, let's make some, okay. I'm going to write the output of the following input string, okay. Number 1, the input. So we're going to write this 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? What is the output of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, number 1? Number 2, what is the uh, output of this input string? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, number 3, input 1, 0, 1, 0, what is the output? Number 4, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Number five, we have the input zero zero one zero one one zero one. We're going to write what is the output of the following. Okay. The next for the Moore machine, we have the diagram here: state A, state B, state C. And if this state A has an input zero, goes itself. And produce an output one. <coughs> Excuse me. Then if has an input one goes to state B and produce an output zero. Then if this state B has an input one goes to state C and produce an output one. And if this state C has an input zero it goes to itself and produce an output one. And if this state C has an input one goes to state B and produce an output zero. And if this state B has an input 0, it goes to state A and produces an output 1. So we're going to write the output of the following input string. Number 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the input string. I know what is the output string. Number 2, we have the 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. This is the input string. What is the output of this? Then number three, we have zero one one zero zero. This is the input string. What is the output string? Then number four, one one zero zero one zero. This is the input. What is the output string? 
Then we have the 1, 1, 0, 0. This is the input string. What is the output? So we're going to answer this 5 activity, 5 input string for the more machine, and 5 input string for the mini machine. Okay? We're going to send your answer in my email address, painido1980 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, I'm curious, please find time to message me in my email address okay guys so thank you for watching i hope you learned something bye